one anchor point. I have the anchor point attached. It will close bodies locked on both the uh, anchor point and the little leaving strap. And station, Houston, uh, on. you can go ahead, check that your reels unlocked, and then you can release your waist tether from the airlock D ring. And I'm unlocked. Going after my waist tether. Mr. Your first is going to be to transfer the ATA crew lock bag to Danny. The large, small ret is going to go with the bag. Copy that. I need to reposition. Yeah, or two bags kind of bulky in my way. Hey, Christopher, I got the uh, the right bag, right? It is just the correct bag. Yeah. Okay. I'll tell you what, let me just grab this hook in here. Let's see. Have you got it to? Okay. And Danny, you're going to attempt to stow that on the airlock handrail. Okay, stand by one, Christopher. I'm standing by. Okay, I've got the hook attached. All right, release on looking here. Okay, it's released here. Christopher, while he stows that, you can go ahead and get ready to transfer the uh, one four cable bag. Yeah, and that large small space in the look, right? That is correct. All right. Very good. Okay, the uh, crew lock bag is stowed. Great, Danny. Uh, Christopher's going to hand out the 1-4 cable bag. It is going to go on your BRT. Here, Christopher, give me a second to set up my oh, BRT. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Take your time. Okay, I have a good hook attached to the uh, okay. handrail, and I've got all my BRT. I'm going to release the small hook. All right, then. Send it back to you. Yep, you're back to me. All right, there you go. Okay. Please. Okay, that's complete. And can I can verify, I've got two hands down. Thank you, Danny. Okay, and I have the uh, one four cable bag I'm stowed, but or it's still on my uh, BRT. And I understand you have a tether on that. I do, so on my BRT. Thanks for the reminder. Great, uh, Christopher is going to hand out the anchor hook of his 85 foot safety tether, and Danny, it'll go on the aft anchor point. Okay. Okay. I can confirm that the bail is closed and the slider is locked. Copy. And uh, Christopher, if I could get the same on your end. Okay. Cross check in. Yes. Very close. Slide and uh, slider locked and reel unlocked. Great. Uh, Christopher, you can go ahead and release your waist tether from the UIA D ring. Okay. That's uh, complete. And you are go to egress the airlock when Danny's clear. All right, Danny. That's All right, two more lock. We head over to the SP Shredding. Get out of your way. Yeah, very dressy. Christopher Fugel saying about to move out of the uh, crew lock section of Quest. The thermal cover, and then I'll take your safe saber checks. All right. And Danny, once you're out of the way, I'll take a glove inspection from you. Okay. And yeah, I've got good gloves. Gloves look good. Okay, Danny, the first thing for you is to translate to lab handrail 0230. This is starboard nader side of the lab below ESP2 and fair lead on the ESP2 trunnion. Okay, that's at work. Once uh, Olivas makes his way over to the, uh, the starboard nader side of uh, the uh, lab uh, below an external stowage platform, a uh, spare parts platform. He'll stow a cable bag that uh, contains uh, 
cabling uh, for the third spacewalk of the mission on Saturday, uh, in which uh, several cables uh, will be strung along uh, the side of uh, the Unity a connecting node in preparation for the arrival of Node 3, the Tranquility node, next year. He uh, will retrieve a separate crew lock bag from a handrail on the airlock and stow it on his uh, body restraint tether as uh, Christopher Fugelsang joins him to make their way down in the, into the payload bay of Discovery to begin to remove thermal insulation from the new ammonia tank assembly. Thank you. 